We have one more thing to do to the coop and it'll be finished. And that is um, installing this poultry netting around the bottom of the coop all the way around. We're gonna bury it so that way predators can't dig under. Another thing that we're gonna be working on is um, a pathway from the house to the coop. We need to level out some ground, clear some trees, and I think we're gonna line the path with rocks. Uh, and we also have some lighting we can put up. The chickens seem to be doing really well. I've been growing lentil sprouts for the chickens for about, I don't know, it's been a while, probably three weeks now. So they've had, they get sprouts every day and then I supplement with, with feed, obviously. Uh, but they seem to really like it and they all come running when I come out with their food every day. Uh, it's really cute. They, they like to live under there. They stay under there pretty much all day when it's hot and then they just run out when it's time to eat. A couple of days ago, we went and picked the rest of our corn for the summer and we brought it in here and shucked it. That way that we could, we could feed the chickens the worms and the grubs and stuff. And they, they loved it. Put the food in the downer. He gives up because it's too high. <laughs> also, I noticed that half of this chicken run was not getting shade at all from these trees. So I hung this curtain just to try to help them, I give them a little bit more shade. You know, they've got, they've got two sheets of metal up here for shade, but it's just not enough. Um, so I think we may end up, we may end up adding another sheet, I don't know. Um, they do need more shade, I do know that, uh, so we're going to have to figure something out. Using this, I'm gonna use my grinder. Then why'd you go get those? I thought maybe to undo it.
Well, stop that. I got yeast. I got yeast. Coop's done, so now done. we can move on. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is make our path from the house to the coop, and we're not doing that today. Oh, guys. We got some new chickies. They look scared, don't they? Oh, you know they are. And it's raining. We haven't had rain in, oh, I don't know how long it's been, a month? It's been a month, probably. Uh -huh. good, maybe gotten sprinkles, that's about it. First time we haven't had to water the garden in forever. It's awesome. We got you some new friends. We're gonna let him out. Eddie? They don't look too happy. Mm -mm. <laughs> Those chicks are more bigger. They're not coming. <laughs> You're gonna have to reach in and get them out. Good job. Yeah, get three more. Oh, that oh nice. no, that was mean. It's okay. It's okay. Why? Why are you do our dirty work. We should be sitting on the porch. Enjoying this. All right, now shut the door so they can't go back in. Why do you eat more chips? We're getting started on our path from the house to the chickens and the rabbits. So we're going to uh, trim some trees, cut a couple down, and then get the excavator in here and start flattening out a walkway. You don't want to walk next to that transformer. That's dangerous. Well, I, I mean, I want all these trees cleared out anyway, so. And it's this is naturally high right here. See how it's high? So I'd like to keep that. So basically, go right next to this tree. Right through here. Make you a little bridge. Continue to ditch out. Right through here. I can make all of this dirt for now. I put find two big flat rocks and make two steps up. Because I don't want to form a, I don't want to form a ditch. I'd rather, you know, form a, a high spot. Mm -hmm. So I don't want it dug out. I want it to be raised up. I think that would make the most sense. I don't want this either, so I need to smooth it all out, raise this up okay. with rocks on each side. Mm -hmm. and then right through there, I'll cut all these cedars out. I'll pull them out with the excavator. 
and then you'll see it better. You want me to make a, a real fast path? Yeah. And see if you like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said real quick. Mm -hmm. It's funny. It's a hundred degree day and we decided to stay in until now and it's it's almost 6 30 in the evening it's just been too hot to do anything although we did move our bunny hutch one of them this one right here we moved it off the porch it's the babies have been on the porch since we got them and you know it's messy and gross so we decided to move them out here um, and after we get this all cleaned up we'll we'll move the other bunny hutch over here somewhere too so that they're together and so that we don't have to walk as far to feed and water them each day. <laughs> I'm done with the path. I like no, it. you're not. Yeah. <laughs> that looks good. I really like that tree, but for as long as we've been here, it has been completely surrounded by cedars and brush, and it's just been inaccessible. So he is clearing out around that tree so that we can actually enjoy the tree, maybe put a bench or something underneath it. We have to have a place for the water runoff, so we're going to build a little tiny bridge over this uh, drainage creek here that we're digging. we got to keep the water off the house. We've done a lot to redirect the water already from the house, but we're still having a little bit of water intrusion under uh, the back side of the foundation by the back door. So we need to go ahead and fix the problems that we're having. But yeah, I get a cute little bridge and my path to my garden and my chickens. Hopefully it'll look cute and we have some um, LED lights to put in also. I can't live in this heat. He likes it hot, I think. Girls in bikinis. <laughs> yes. Everyone's complaining about heat. Girls? <laughs> yeah, girls in bikinis. Or this. You talking about girls or are you talking about me? I said girl, didn't I? No. <laughs> Where are you put Oh, you're putting that one on the tree. So we got lights that shine up and we've got the lights for the path over there. So I think we're gonna flatten this out a little, build this little bridge and put some uh, gravel down, small gravel, and then line the edges, I think, with big rocks, right? Yeah, I was thinking uh, to make it interesting, make it simple. You just set them up on its side, here and there. Maybe. Instead of, I was thinking, you know, just lying the whole path, but that might look too dumb. You mean just stick random ones here and there? Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Instead of lining it? Well, I don't know. It it's might look nicer lined. I'm trying to picture it. He's gonna finish digging this little trench he's been working on. And we're gonna have to get back at this another day. 
because uh, it's starting to get dark and got to get these kids showered and in bed. But we would like to thank all of our viewers for watching and for supporting us and leaving awesome, nice comments. Um, we do read all of them. And uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. We're just a family of six living out in the middle of nowhere, trying to make a simple life and enjoy it at the same time. So follow along.